Um, the next one was, uh, let's see, what happened to Hulk in Maui? Um, Hulk was that big, giant, heavy I thought it was a big green machine. guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Maui was sort of the software base. I guess that's what Atmos became. So, you know, I actually think that Atmos, you know, has some potential there. I mean, I think it's the whole object storage thing has been very slow to take off out, outside of Google, you know, but I think it really has a lot of potential. We're talking, we're seeing, you know, you've talked about some of the cloud on-ramp guys. I've got that in my predictions in, in 2011. You know, the, the Nirvonics of the world and, and, and guys like that and, and Amazon S3, the whole object store, storing blobs, you know, I think is going to come back. So um, it sort of didn't happen in 2010, which is really my prediction, but I actually think it's got some legs. In, yeah, in I, I, I think that uh, I agree with you. I think what EMC needs to do is they need to get Atmos out there at, to become a brand name just like Amazon S3 is a brand name because what's going to happen is these cloud on-ramp guys are going to be looking for partners. Right, so I spent some time with some folks at Bessemer, and they're they're uh, you know looking at this space very heavily. And um, when I when when having the conversations about the different technologies, you start to see when they start when companies start doing partnerships with companies like Amazon, companies like Iron Mountain. Right, you want to be in that short list, and the reason why you want to be in that short list is because you want people sending data to your cloud. Right, so I just think EMC's just got to totally pump that up and get serious about it. So, so you got Iron Mountain, you got Amazon S3, you got Nirvonix. Nirvonix is a new CEO, Scott Genero, yep. who left uh, uh, QLogic. Q. Yep. So that does, does that you mean Steve Zavonix right behind him? To say, say you're smirking there, Dave. You know, because he's not <laughs> at QLogic anymore. Did right. you know that? Yeah. Yeah, we sent them an email the other day. It bounced back. Savannah Savannah is out of Q Logic. You heard it here first. Wow. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they've if they've announced that he's he's going anywhere. But uh, one would presume if Genero's gone, Savannah's right behind him, right? So, you know, who knows? I mean, those guys have, have worked a lot of magic at other companies. They, you saw the DDN. They put, sort of put DDN in the map. Q Logic. I really didn't know much about Q Logic before those two clowns got there, right? <laughs> and and uh, I think they did a pretty good job there. Q Logic, very interesting company, and uh, yeah, I think they did a reasonable job at Hitachi too. I mean, Hitachi was very quiet all those years, and those guys took off the gloves and sort of punched EMC in the nose a little bit. I, I like it. You know? Yeah, and now they actually get an opportunity starting at, e uh, at an even younger company to be a lot more aggressive and a lot more competitive. I, you know, you never uh, you never count anybody out. Because a Foskett was at Nirvonix, and he claims they got great technology, and so you know. Who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens. What do do I don't know much day? about Nirvonics. <laughs> you know, I'd like to.